This Torah class is brought to you by TorahAnytime.com. We're Zarchat to be at the Kever, Marine Rabin Rabbi Pesach Frank, the Rav of Yushalayim, who, of course, is a shas, author of Shas Vachuvas Hartsvi, and the great Paisek. And when we were at the Chorva Shul, we said over from Rabbi Pesach, one of the reasons it's called. The Chor Vashul is based on the Gemara in Masech the Brachas. I'm Rabbi Yosi, Pamachas, Nechnasti, Lechor Vachas, Mechor Vas Yerushalayim. Here's Nifter, Chaf Aleph, Kislev, Shabbos Kodesh, in the year Tavshin, Chaf Aleph, 1961. Now, his son in law was Rabbi Yosef Kohen. Rabbi Yosef Kohen wrote the footnotes on the bottom of, of Mikroi Kodesh. So, Rabbi Yosef Frank wrote Mikroi Kodesh, and on the bottom he have footnotes. Uh, Harare Kodesh, written by his son in law Rabbi Yosef Kayin. When I was in Yeshiva, I was like to hear one shear from Rabbi Yosef Kayin. And he said over, see here it says uh, he was the one who compiled Mikroi Kodesh and many other uh, Chiburim. He also wrote a Chibur on Hilchash Tshuva. He said over, the Rambam says that Rosh Hashanah is called a Yom Ha'avoida. Why is it called a Yom Ha'avoida? Based on what we said today from the Shari Ar of Rabbi Zal Peterberg that really a person should be so afraid of HaKadosh Baruch Hu that it should be impossible to do Averos. But what HaKadosh Baruch Hu did was he, in order to facilitate Bechira, allow for Bechira, he made a Gezeira that what a person knows does not affect the way a person behaves. So even a person has a Muna and Hashem, a person could still do Averos because what we know doesn't affect how we behave. So the same thing with Rosh Hashanah. The fact that we know it's a Yom din does not make us fearful of the Din. And the same way when it comes to your Shamayim, the only way to get back to your Shamayim is to be Oyved on it. The only way to believe that Rosh Hashanah is a Yom Adin, Rabbi Yosef Kain says, is to be Oyved that Rosh Hashanah in fact is a Yom Adin. So that was the Chiddush that Rabbi Yosef Kain said over, explaining the Rambam, that Rosh Hashanah is considered a Yom Adin. Of course, Rabbi Yosef Kain is the father of the current Rosh Hashiva of Hebron, Rav David Kain Shlita. You've just experienced another Torah class brought to you by TorahAnytime.com.